wanted this to be a little bit brighter than the background. I'm going to do the same thing with this side over here. Oops. This just takes a very steady hand. You can use the pen tool if you want. And then and then and then choose right click and stroke on it. And uh for if you don't have a steady hand. But, you know, I'm a digital painter, so I've got a pretty steady hand. Going back and forth lightly, but then I'm fading out at the edges. Building up the intensity more. Finally taking white. Pulling out that way and that way. Like so. Right, so I'm thinking he looks pretty badass. I could take it further and do more to him. I could, um give him more crackly skin or something, but I don't see the point. I think this looks pretty good. Actually, I like it a lot. But just in case, I'll see what it looks like. Right, so I got this texture. Textures are really easy to find. Just uh, type in like textures or the kind of texture you want into Google Images and then make sure you click on the option large so you find large images. I'm going to set this to soft light. Set it to overlay instead of soft light. Turn it down a bit here, like so. Take my eraser tool, and now I'm going to just lightly erase in places I don't want it to appear at all. And I can see it looks like with without. Looks pretty cool. I think it adds to some overall texture to the image. It's kind of nifty. Go ahead and erase this little piece right there as well. And if I wanted to, another thing I can do is uh, make a new layer here. I can do something like pull out this color here and make it look like. I can either make it look like there's a crack in his face here that comes up both ways like so and I can add actually I kinda like that I could also make it look like he was you know tearing black you know add a couple more and then I could have went ahead and added the little highlights and stuff to it make it look like he's like crying black stuff but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna stick with this idea here I dig it looks cool I need to just slightly pull this down so it gets really thin like that okay next I need to take a lighter skin color and I need to put on the opposite side of this that the light is hitting and what this is gonna do I'm going to take a slightly dark color and just lightly put it on the other side of that. Like so, oops, not, not too much, I just want a little bit. That way it kind of looks more like a scar, like it's kind of going into his skin. I could also make it a little bit more rounded like this, so that um, it's following the contour's face more. Yeah, I'll see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and erase all of this. Okay, the same thing. Except I'm going to kind of, as it comes out here, I'm going to slightly follow the contour of his face. This is a lot harder line to paint slightly curved like that. Then I'm going to take this bright color, run along the edge, take a slightly darker color, and just run it right along the edge of that edge. Like so. So now it looks like he has... I might even go a little bit lighter than that. Which will have to be white, I guess. I wanted to really show that there's a... There we go.
right, so there you have it. Ashton Kutcher demonized. I think he looks pretty damn awesome. He should play in like Supernatural or something. Be some badass demon or something. Or some be a vampire. We need a new, we need a new vampire show. All right, so here's before, after. Before, after. So you can take this knowledge and you can apply it to other things and you can go ahead and demonize other people. If you do demonize someone, go ahead and make a video response with your demonization of somebody and then that way the people can see it and check it out. Alright, thank you for watching. Again, check out my websites, ipaintgirls.com and, ma ipaintgirls and masteredit.com for more free tutorials in writing and in all things related to art. Click the thumbs up if you like the video. I appreciate it. Leave a comment. I love comments. And uh, just, you know, whatever you want to comment, whatever, just leave comments. I like, re I like reading your guys' comments. And uh, I especially like it when you guys give requests for what you like to see in the future. Alright, see you later.